This is the mechanical drive system that was behind the photocopier and the back of it so it was driving pretty much well I don't know exactly what it's driving but all the toner the drums everything I assume came from somewhere here seem to have relatively strong gears this gear looks like it's damaged here but relatively strong gears useful it's heavy as hell some of these are bolted in connections um, well riveted in stainless steel spikes let's rephrase that properly uh, nice gear here some of these motors look like it'll be interesting um, right so as we turn this the whole thing turns and this is the motor let's go behind because this thing has still a lot of tone on it and as you can see that board is full of toner so yeah it's heavy I have to leave this location so this whatever I get out of it has the ship um so yeah let's strip it down let's take out what might, might or might not be useful there's also this piece here I believe this is the exhaust toner um well the extra toner gets blown in and this plugs in into a well a container that basically captures the excess toner uh, what would not have been used and going through the system so that, I think that's the reason this thing is so dirty apart from the fact that everything was bundled together and this is the fan here that there and we'll get that on the other side that was used to suck in and pull everything in send it through into that tube so yeah some belts some pulleys some things I'll see what I can get from it and dump it hopefully I don't get that much toner again it's been a bit much for the day made some progress i've got the two parts separated had to cut one piece look at here um couldn't really get it out the screw refused to move um didn't cause some injuries along the way such as life with these things got this motor separate there's that small one there the fan is separate that sensor there i'll take out and just have a glance at this piece of gearing which seems quite interesting seems almost like a full gearbox in there anyway I'll pull that out that looks like it come out separately and take out this motor I doubt this board is that useful but it mm, just maybe I don't know so it's a matter of pulling out a couple of these things and um yeah moving from there I believe I can reduce the weight as I said shipping so need to get the weight down shipping via air so let me see if I can take out as much as possible uh, these things like this plastic housing where it sucks air from one side and shoots to the other is not too important to me. The fan is what's useful. And this tubing, leave it alone. Too much toner. Really trying to avoid toner at this stage. Oh, interestingly, I noticed this and I forgot to mention it on the last piece. This is some high voltage wire in here. And this is the suction side, yeah? Yeah, looks happy. So... Yeah, maybe what they're doing is trying to attract the toner with some high voltage because the toner has charged particles. So, yeah, this was the third high voltage. Just wondering where that actually went and now we know where it goes. So it goes onto the discharge side. The top mechanism that was used to move the scanner over the paper. And this was described a little bit, well, shown a little bit more in the original strip down. But now what I want to do, is because I have to dispose of all this stuff, have a look at the um, actual gearing, well not gearing, pulley system that they've used and see what it does. So as you see, if you just pull this, what it does, it comes forward and it goes back, goes together. It moves at a different rate. So, interesting enough little pulley system as you see there. So, um, Aluminum, machine aluminum on this side here. Look like some very fine coated, probably with a plastic coating um, wire, and then a double pulley system. So essentially, as one goes, next one comes, and that's the tensioner there. And the same, well, the same occurs on this side. Huh? So it's exactly the same process on both sides, and same kind of drum and this drum was of course driven by the stepper motor that was here so what i'm gonna do is just grab the stuff take it all out um 
that mirror is probably useless this area of LEDs not even sure it's useful but I'll grab a dot anyway so let me strip this down and well I guess take all the cable and maybe this belt drive here at best after all I got two bearings and these two half pieces counterweights and this other one here which is driving belt was on this to drive the whole shaft the weight of this is really really heavy and I've scraped it with a knife first guess on this zinc I'm not gonna go through the effort of um, trying to put this on the stove and melt it I think melts at about I think 424 I'll check that back and correct it in the video I need if I'm wrong but yeah somewhere around that um so yeah useful